the channel my name is Mari Milana I decided to be a little bit spontaneous like usually when I make videos it's not really planned it's really just spontaneous I'm trying to become a lot more consistent I can't remember if I mentioned it in the last video or not but if I didn't you guys know I mentioned I'm kind of like down lately I'm slowly getting back up today I decided to take a personality quiz just for fun I know myself pretty well but let's see how well this test knows me and so I just went on Google. I have my laptop right here. This one that caught my eye is this one that says, how do others see you? The word personality originates from the Latin word persona, referring to masks worn by theater performers to hide their identity or portray different roles. Your persona or personality is unique to you. It's a combination of the behaviors, emotions, thought patterns, and motivations that define us. Research from the past few decades has pointed to the role of environment, including how we were raised and our genetics informing and shaping our personalities. So what is your personality? I feel the most energetic and focused in the morning, late at night, during the afternoon, or early in the evening. I would say, honestly, I would say late at night because I'm an early, well the thing is I'll wake up early, but most of the time I'm one of those people I like to kind of I'm a night owl. I like to be up at night, so I would say late at night. I catch myself a lot of the time being up late at night, like really I'm probably going to wake up at some time during the, in the middle of the night. So when I walk, I tend to do it fairly fast with long steps. I say fairly fast with small steps. I feel like I'm always speed walking somewhere. There's this one thing, bro, that me and my friends used to say in high school. We used to be like, oh, look, he's on a mission. He's on a mission. Like we used to say that all the freaking time. So that reminded me of that just now. When you speak to people, you tend to stand with your arms folded, have one or both of your hands on your hips with my hair, touch my hair maybe. When you're relaxed, you usually sit with your knees bent with your legs neatly side by side, like curled under you. You know, I'm really wondering how this is all gonna tally up my personality or how others see me. Cause these are some like off topic questions, but we'll see, we'll see. When you find something really funny, you usually give a big appreciative laugh, a quick chuckle, a sheepish smile, or yeah, I would say big appreciative laugh, usually. When you enter a party or social gathering, you tend to make a loud entrance so that everyone notices you. Make the quickest entrance trying to stay unnoticed. Make a quiet entrance looking around for someone you know. I'm never the type to make a loud entrance. When I walk into a party, I'm looking for the person I know because once I get with the person I know, then I'll be a little bit more social. Like, hey, how you doing? Hi, my name is, you know. So I would say, look for someone I know. If you're focused on a task and you're interrupted, you're likely to welcome the break, vary between these two extremes, or feel extremely irritated. I'll probably try to work on both, but if I feel like the need to take a break, then I will. It just depends on what it is, like whether it's something at work or something just I'm doing in my spare time, personal time at home. You know what's so funny? I'm not I'm I'm not picky about a lot of things. I pretty much like every color. Yeah, out of all of them, purple is probably my favorite color. Before you fall asleep, you're usually lying stretched out on your back, stressed out face down on your stomach. With my head on one arm for sure. When you dream, you're often falling, fighting or struggling, flying or floating. Your dreams are always pleasant. You usually have dreamless sleep. I usually have dreamless sleep. I don't, I believe it or not, I don't really dream often. And if I do, I probably just don't remember it, but I don't dream often. So I'm gonna say you have, usually have dreamless sleep. It wasn't really that many questions. It didn't have the questions numbered. My scoring, uh, my personality type is the lively center of attention. Your total score is 42 out of 64. Summary, others see you as fresh, lively, charming, amusing, practical, and always interesting. Someone who's constantly in the center of attention, but sufficiently well-balanced not to let it go to their head. They also see you as a kind, considerate, and understanding. Someone who will always cheer them up and help them out. And I said, when I scored the highest on is the lively center of attention. Well, you know what's funny? I, like, especially at a job, I'm the type of person that will stay to myself, be quiet, like, I'm like, you know, 
if I don't know anybody and I just started a job or something like that, I'm just using a job as an example because this has actually happened. Um, I'll notice people, you know, come up to me, like I'll stay to myself, I'll be to myself, I'm not really paying attention to anybody or like really trying to go out of my way to talk to anybody and I naturally attract people. Same thing when I'm out in public by myself, I just sometimes naturally attract people to talk to me. So it's interesting that it said the lively center of attention, that's interesting. I know I look a mess. I literally just walked out of the house like this. So I walked in, I went to the ATM because I, I have Wells Fargo, so it's near my house. And um, I had a bit some money in there. And so while I'm putting some money in there, a car stops, of course, and it's full of dudes and they're trying to talk or whatever. And I got creeped out because, you know, it's just me by myself. So I start walking. And I don't know why, I just know that crazy things happen all the time. So I was afraid of somebody like trying to follow me or something. So I just stopped into the nearest restaurant I was at, which was this restaurant, which I've been here before. It's good, it's not bad or anything. And I was like, let me just stay in here, order something and like wait for a while before I go back out. So that's what I'm doing and I'm about to eat. I'm at a place called Rusty Tacos. This one is the breakfast brisket and then that one's a different kind of brisket. There's my treat. <clears throat> I just got finished eating and I don't know if I ever told you all this, but a while back I used to do kickboxing. And I've really been wanting to like do another martial, another martial arts class. But I don't know what I would want to try next. Like, I don't know. Or I want to do some type of dance class, some type of activity like I want to start doing. Like I want to be more active. Like I feel like I haven't been active lately. But like even when I was active, like I still wanted to do something like some type of class. So Hopefully I can find some type of class soon. I think it's a good idea. I was like, you know what? Let me get out of the house anyways because I've been staying in my dark, cold room for the longest time and it, that, that's just not good. Um, I, I needed some fresh air. I needed to be in some fresh air by myself and just have a date with myself, you know, pamper myself, treat myself. So I decided to treat myself today. Outside area, out here. So, and I'm sitting at a table by myself, like a days in my life type of vlog. So, over the past couple days, like it's just been getting a lot better, and I've really been truly, 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 truly happy because you know when you're in a rough place in your life, when you're in kind of a tough situation, or you're in a like you're hitting a road bump in your journey is how I should kind of put it. It's like, you know, it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel when you're going, when you're actually going through it. But then once you come out of it, you see and you're like, oh, okay, like, you know, it actually wasn't that bad. I mean, it felt like it was lasting forever, but it really wasn't that bad, you know? We had 5 a.m., a 5 a.m. smoke session with y'all. I ordered a blunt holder on Wish <laughs> and it hasn't came in the mail yet but <laughs> it's supposed to come. Maybe I should, maybe as a video idea I should do a thing where I just buy a whole bunch of weird random stuff off Wish and like I give y'all my opinions and like review it. Maybe I could put y'all on to some stuff. Definitely expect some reviews to be coming. You know everyone that does like any type of psychedelic, they're always like, yeah I had like the best experience and this, this and that happened and it was like, I made a lot of healthy realizations about myself and this, that, and the third, right? So yeah, he's, you know, going on that tangent. And I have it somewhat together. You know, it has its good days and bad days, just like anybody else. Um, but then I was like, no, like, a lot of people like the raw and uncut, like, people, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be someone on here that you can't relate to, you know what I mean? I want you to be able to relate to me, so... Lately, I've been really isolated, but I'm, I've been slowly coming out of that just because I was going through some things and I needed time to myself. Like, I'm like a battery that needs to recharge every once in a while, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to that. If you're an extrovert or just 
very uh, friendly person and stuff, like you're constantly coming in contact with so many different people's energies. So that can get like really tiring and draining if you really, really think about it. Hi guys, so it's early as the fuck in the morning, 5.06 a.m. I decided I felt like getting up and recording. By the way, you guys, I decided to come on here barefaced. I had been breaking out like recently, not now, but for the past couple of weeks. So my skin's still kind of healing and um, yeah, that's the after, that's the aftermath right now. I probably might look like I smoke all the time to y'all, but I really don't like I just kind of like smoke randomly. It's not something that happens like all the time, all day, every day, no. For a couple months, I wasn't having the best luck for the first couple months of 2022, but now it's like been getting a lot, a lot better. Like, Hi guys. So today is later on into Thursday. I'm supposed to be starting my new job at the end of this month. Till then, I'm just chilling. Lately, I haven't been really wanting to go out as much. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to be seeing a longtime friend I haven't seen in a really long time from high school. A little soothing mask. It's pretty, it's really good. Oh, I can't even really tell you what's in here because I mix so much stuff together. It's not even funny. To get more personal with you guys because I feel like vlogs are personal. Give me a more of a sneak peek into my life done reading that book that I told you guys about. I'm on the last chapter. I literally only have one more chapter left and then I can move on to the next book. Oh, also y'all too. So my aunt is literally the sweetest. You guys, she brought, she's always bringing me home food right like tonight. Um, me and my aunt, we like eating this sushi from Kroger. Like, don't get me wrong, we like restaurant sushi too, but we there's um, some good sushi at Kroger because they make it fresh every day. So we don't eat the, the raw stuff, we eat the, you know, the other kind of sushi. It's not even that expensive, it's not that much. It comes with like spicy mayo and everything, and it tastes really, really good. Um, I got them putting the hair mask in my hair. This is exactly how y'all know. I am getting way too comfortable in here. <laughs> video intermission um here's the sushi washing the stuff out of my hair and now i'm about to put these like my little skincare face products on because i've washed the mask off and then i toned my face and stuff so rose water and witch hazel toner on my face and now i just put some aloe vera gel on yeah this is the aloe vera gel I use. this to fade the scars on my face you know First thing I do is I put my eyelash serum on. It's by Purity Naturals. Some almond oil for my eyebrows. Seeing a longtime friend that I haven't seen. So this is my friend, Serum. <laughs> it's a really nice day outside. Y'all, this is such a nice ass walk. Like, just being out in nature, it always feels so, so good. I don't know how we might go outside, so I want to. I don't know if you guys can see my outfit. But Sierra's outfit is super cute. I love, like, anything she wears, guys. Anything she wears is always super cute. Sorry, I have on lip gloss. I always have on lip gloss. I think orange is my new color. This looks good. You look so good. It's actually a called Summit and they also do indoor rock climbing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? Because 
I've been wanting to try it. This can see. But literally, all the nature back there is so beautiful. Everything is so beautiful. I think this walk was very relaxing and I think it was a much needed walk. Right? Uh -huh. But they don't have like different varieties because yeah. most people want different looks. So a lot of people think it's just those basic ones. So you kind of educate people like, no, there's more than one, you know. And if you just create like a, you know, like your thing, your specialty, your niche type thing, that will bring people in. Find the one that you're the most like great at and you, you like realize that's the most one you're getting asked for because that's going to be like your advertising. I do these and everybody's going to be like, I've been looking for ones like those. Let me go to yeah. her. Like, you uh, target towards college students. Most of them, most college students are broke, so they're gonna go to the cheaper person. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they are. Exactly. Right? I got them at this store in Louisiana when I went there. Salad. Okay, so it's hours later and I'm getting ready to eat some watermelon. I just enjoyed this video and I see you guys in the next one.